Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project online hard disk store and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JTK I am using is JTK 1.8 and the MySQL version is 5.6. I am using Tomcat Server 8 for running this project but if you have Tomcat uh, Server version 7 or 9, you can also configure and run this project on those servers, those Tomcat servers. For Front-end development, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like for form validations, integration of calendars, and uh, for many of the things I have used, the jQuery plugins, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through, right? So the project title is Online Herb Stores, and it's a Java, JSP, MySQL, web-based mini DBMS project. Web-based because it runs on the browser, Mini because it has only and only customer login. There is no admin login inside the system, right? And the DBMS because we are performing the DBMS operations like CRUD, create, read, update, delete operations with MySQL database. For connecting MySQL with Java JSP, I'm using the MySQL J connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website, right? So these all technologies I have used for developing this project, right? Okay, so let's start for the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see there are some images coming on the uh, home page these are the products which you have added from the uh, database right so these all are the products coming from the database right if you click on the product then you will be able to get the details of the product right so this is the about project. this is a static page and there is nothing running from the database this is all products just this is totally dynamic page and all of the products are coming from the database right you even you can filter the products on clicking on the link here right so you can see the products are getting filtered on clicking on the link <coughs> right right the same menu is available here also right you can filter the products on clicking on the link here right the same category these are the categories and this same categories are available in the menu here this register right so for buying the product you must have the user id and password without user id and password you will not be able to make any type of purchase from this project right so for that you need to register on the website so this is the registration form from where you will be able to register this is a login form from where you will be able to log inside the system and you can perform certain operations this is a contact us this is a static contact us page i'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i'm not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so let's start uh, for buying some of the product right so i'm going to add this into cart right so oh there are too much items we have already into added into the cart so if you want to delete the items then you can delete it from there right suppose if you want to buy these three products or if you want to add one more product just click on this right add to cart and you can set the quantity here right add to cart so once you click on the add to cart that item will be added into the cart right and after that you can the two buttons here continue shopping or proceed to checkout once you click on proceed to checkout then it will ask your login details right without user id and password you will not be able to purchase the product right so the user id is customer and sorry the user id is amit at the gmail.com and password is test so once you log in then it will ask for the shipping address right because you are on the way to buy the product right so you can enter any of the details here right just i am entering any of the garbage details here once you click on the proceed to payment you will get a payment page from where you need to enter your credit card details this is a sample payment page right there is not no need to enter the correct credit card details just enter any of the garbage values right so because this is a dummy page all right expiry date cv number and once you click the total amount you need to pay is three thousand seven hundred rupees right once you click on the make payment I think there is some issue here. Okay. Okay. I will fix that. Right. I think there is some issue in the saving of the orders. Right. I will fix that issue. <coughs> right. Okay. So let me go through other pages also. So once you click on the dashboard, so uh, after logging with the customer, uh, 
customer uh, login details you will get the dashboard here right let me show you if you log out then you can see there is no my order pages are coming but if you log inside the system you will get the dashboard page right and the my order space right so in my orders you will be able to see find out all of your orders right so once you click on the view items you will be able to see all the orders which you have placed right so you can see this is the uh, order which you have placed right if you want to see other orders then you can see all other orders orders also right this is my account from where you will be able to update your account details right so this is the account details from where you will be update your account details and contact us i already explained you right this is a dashboard and from this dashboard menu you can jump on that page right and once you click on the logout your session will be destroyed this is the session driven menu and once you click on the logout your session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages without logging inside the system right so let me show you so there is a my order my account page but if you log out then those menu options are not coming right so these functionalities i have developed inside this spirit online hub system for order part i will fix that and i will uh, and it will work perfectly so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much